This video is going to show you how to install the needle clamp on a Singer Featherweight Model 221. A couple of things I want to point out first. Might be a little tricky to see, but let's see. On the on the needle bar, there's a groove down the back and you can see there's like a little cup area in it. And that's important because that's where this piece is going to go. I want to show your needle body. You can see there's a an indentation there, kind of like a little cutaway. That's going to be on the outside facing you. Uh, there's it's not on the other side. And there's also a retaining screw, very thin on the end, and then your needle clamp and screw. Um, you have your thread guide, your lower thread guide, and when you look at it underneath, it should have a loop to it, which this does. If you look on the end of the loop, this this little round area that sticks out, that's what fits inside your needle clamp. So when you're holding the body toward you, it goes in and it slides into the little slot inside. Now you have to try to hold your needle together like this and then slide it up on your needle bar. You want to push it up as far as it'll go and then take that flat screw the flat screw goes on the left side and this will hold the whole body into place no problems threading it <laughs> okay so I got that in now this you want to you want to tighten down so your body is is tightened against your against your um, needle bar. Sorry about the dead camera angle. And at that point, you can put your needle clamp and screw in, and don't turn it all the way down. <clears throat> When you take your needle, there's a groove on one side. You can feel it with your fingernail. I'm not really zooming in too well. There you go. You can see it. Now this groove is going to face towards the throat area to the right side of the machine. And then there's a flat area on the top part of the of the needle that faces out to the left and then it's just fitting your needle in and then cranking down the screw and there you have it the important thing is that that little round piece on the end of the lower thread guide is getting that into the body all the way when you push it up onto the shaft. Other than that, yeah, I understand these are very confusing, but there it is in a nutshell. Hope that helps you out.